So when we lived in New York, we had a 1,500 square foot house, and we paid more in taxes for that house than we do down in Garner in our over 3,000 square foot house. And you just can't beat the quality of life and living down here. Um, the weather's beautiful. Sometimes it's a little too hot for me. <laughs> yeah, it's hot. The last Friday of every month from April through November um, is last Friday in Clayton. So all the businesses stay open late. There's live music on all the street corners. There's a farmer's market in the square. There's just like, I mean, it's palpable. You can like walk around and really feel it. There's like free horse and carriage rides. There's kids, there's families. Wow. You can go out drinking and partying or you can make it like very family centric, but it's nice to see all the businesses open late. So that's awesome. Yeah. And Clayton and Garner are two towns in the Triangle, and often people who are considering one location will also consider the other because they have a similar cost of living and they're right next to each other, although they encompass a fairly large area, so there can still be an impact on the commute depending on which one you choose. Today, we're going to look at some of the similarities and some of the differences between Clayton and Garner. Clayton is a town located in Johnston County, which is just south of Wake County. One thing about Clayton is it's a bit further removed from other parts of the Triangle. It's about 25 minutes to downtown Raleigh on the highway, which of course can get congested at times and add to that drive. And Clayton has a very small town vibe about it. About a mile outside of downtown, Clayton recently finished the Sam's Branch Greenway and the Clayton River Walk, which connect to the Noose River Trail that runs along the Noose River all the way up to Falls Lake Dam, which is a 33 mile walk or bike ride from Clayton. The town of Garner is located in Wake County, but there are parts of Garner that are located in neighboring Johnston County. It's about 15 minutes to downtown Raleigh, and Garner has a very suburban community feel. One thing that a lot of people tell me who live in Garner is that it feels like a very close-knit community, and you're gonna run into people you know pretty much everywhere you go. There are a couple of popular parks that people in Garner really love, Lake Benson and White Deer Park. They're right across the street from each other, and this is where many community events and activities take place in Garner. Lake Benson hosts things like the Moonlight Paddle when you can take canoes out onto the lake after dark and White Deer Park has this great nature center where they offer some really neat programs and classes. The Clayton Harvest Festival is by far the biggest event in Clayton drawing 20,000 people from all over the state for five days of carnival rides, food, performances and more in downtown Clayton. At the same time the Harvest Festival is happening, the Shindig Music Festival is happening right in downtown as well. Downtown Clayton is a pretty popular spot and every year residents look forward to summertime when they can grab a blanket and enjoy free summer movies in the town square. They also have food trucks and a bounce house and face painting before the movies start. Every year in Garner, businesses and local organizations set up along the One Mile Loop Trail in White Oak Park and everyone comes dressed up at Halloween for the Trick or Treat the Trails. Fourth of July is also a big event in Garner. Lake Benson hosts this annual event. The North Carolina Symphony plays. There are games, plenty of food and crafts put on by Kids Adventure Zone, and of course, the amazing fireworks display. You don't have a lot of big box stores in Clayton, and if you need that kind of thing, you're gonna have to go to Garner, which is only about 15 minutes away, so no biggie, right? But the cool thing about the lack of this kind of shopping in Clayton is that they have a vibrant historic downtown. In some little towns in North Carolina, you might see these cool little historic districts and they'll be completely empty, just shop after shop boarded up. It's kind of sad really, but not in Clayton. People really support the local businesses here and for a small town, there are a decent number of things to do.
community gardens. So it's going to be about three blocks down on the right hand side. Yeah. Right whenever you get there, there's like um, there's an open box of like people can take any food goods that they need or any like women's toiletries supplies. Yeah. And then there's community gardens where you can go in and pick your own food for free. Wow. Um, it's community supported and ran. So they told us there was this little community garden and it's for whoever wants to come in and grab some veggies. So we're actually going to see if there's any veggies in here. Nothing yet. Right in downtown, you can go axe throwing at Epic Axe. There are batting cages. Boulevard West is a great little coffee shop. There's a wine bar, a tavern, and a whole bunch of little restaurants and boutique shops. Garner's a pretty small town, but over the last few years, there's been quite a bit of development in the shopping arena. You can find pretty much anything you need at the White Oak Shopping Center, but I think this is one area that, depending on your personality, can feel a little bit lacking in Garner because the current shopping that exists in Garner is almost all big box stores. Everything you need is there, but if you're looking for quaint, privately owned shops, you're probably gonna need to head to Clayton. Garner does have this historic downtown district, but it's still in the revitalization stages, and there's just not that much there yet. Hopefully, we'll see more from Garner about this in the future. Clayton is home to 21,000 people. For a small town, Clayton has some big employers. Johnston County Schools and Johnston Health each employ over 1,000 people, and the two healthcare manufacturing companies, Nova Nordisk and Griffles, employ similar numbers, which again is quite surprising for a town this size. The median home price in Clayton is $268,000 at the time this video was released. Home prices are much more affordable in Johnston County compared to Wake, and the only thing you really give up is that convenience to Wake County amenities. You know, your downtown Raleigh, museums, larger named concerts and events and that kind of thing. But for $260,000, you could get a home like this one, three bedrooms, three baths, and 1,700 square feet. Garner is home to about 29,000 people. The largest employer in Garner is Amazon. Their fulfillment center employs 3,000 people. Other than that, the majority of professionals in Garner commute into Raleigh or surrounding areas. Garner's median home price is $276,000 as the time of this video was released. This is very affordable compared to many places in the Triangle. And for that price, you can get a home like this one in Garner. How cute is this? It's three bedrooms, two baths, just under 1,600 square feet, and look at that yard. And I think probably it's, it's, we're very focused on arts and community and I think that just opens the door to all different types of folks and, um, you know, tattoos or piercings or, you know, purple hair, or whatever you are, as long as you're a good human and as long as you're, you know, kind. Yeah. Awesome. We're very open, so. Awesome. Yeah. Love it. Thank yeah. you so, so oh, much. Absolutely. We're going to wander. If you like this video, I think you'll really like this one comparing Carrie to Holly Springs. I would like to use you on camera. I like that you got tattoos. Cause they, <laughs> well, people have this idea about right. like North Carolina that it's like, you know, it's... Where it's, the Bible belt? It, yes. No, you know? no. And so I want to show not. kind of...